How's it going, everybody? So, in case you don't know, my name is RadRider33, and I do some Apple tutorials, uh, jailbreak stuff, Mac stuff, um, and lately I've been doing a lot of Xcode tutorials. So, this is my latest Xcode tutorial. Um, here to bring you the best. Um, I try to keep them simple, concise, and easy to understand for those uh, who are getting into iOS programming. So, today's topic is how to use a UI slider in an iOS app. And so, just a side note, um, I'm actually testing kind of a new presentation format, so I'm going to start out, usually I have my rambling and my overview with just a useless boring screen, and so now I kind of have a little uh, keynote, I guess you could say, and so it has some information in it. So, without uh, further ado, let's get started. This is how to use a UI slider in your iOS app. So, what is a slider? Well, basically, this is what they look like. Um, pretty simple. Uh, here's some kind of fancied up ones, but they basically look like this. We've all seen them. It just allows you to change a data, I guess we'll just say data input. I mean, you can use it for a lot of things, but the way I'm going to be doing the tutorial today allows you to change the data value for something in kind of an analog way. So, analog control of data input and values, because you slide from any number of values and it feels more analog rather than you're turning a switch on and off or you're incrementing something by one. And it is obviously manipulated with a slide. You just slide your finger across and adjust it. And it's pretty easy to implement, just a couple of lines of code for the basic usage. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so you're going to want to open a new project in Xcode and just a single view application. I mean, obviously, if you already have an app. But I'm just going to name it Slider, just because, so for demonstration purposes, I guess. And I'm going to uncheck Git Repository because I don't need that. Make my window full screen. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is in your view controller, I'm going to just drag a label and a slider just to so I can show what I'm going to do. So this app is going to take a slider and display the value that it has incremented, I guess you could say, on the label. And so right now, I'm just uh, resizing the label. Uh, nothing too particular, I'm just kind of centering it. And so, yeah. And then I'm going to drag my label in here. And then the next step that I'm going to take after I get this all formatted, kind of get it how I like it, maybe center it up, um, I don't know, maybe put font a little bit bigger, that's fine. So now you're going to go to the assistant editor, which looks like a little bit of a bow tie, I guess you could say. And you're going to create two connections. So the first connection is going to be from the label into the... I guess it automatically picks view controller. And I'm going to name this, you have to be sure it's an outlet, and I'm going to name this um, slider display. And then you're going to create another outlet from the actual slider, and you do this by control drag. And if you've seen my other tutorials, you'll know that. And I'm going to have this an outlet also, because you need to manipulate the data from it. And so this is going to be set values. And then lastly, this is the important part, you're actually going to make an action. Now, this is very important to getting your slider to work. And I'm going to name this uh, Apply Changes. <clears throat> and obviously yours can be anything as long as you remember what they are. Specifically. So, you know, that part's not too important. Um, next off, we are going to go to the ViewController.m. So go back to the regular editor, I mean, obviously. And if you'll see here, there's two outlets. There's a value changed, which goes to the apply changes, and there's a set value, which is actually an action. And so that's what you want. That's important. And now, actually, I'm going to go to the adjuster, the editor. And this, is, this here is neat, because you can adjust what you want your value to be the range, I guess. And so right now, it's 0 to 6, with current being 0 0.5. So that's fine. I'll just leave that. And now we're going to go to the viewcontroller.m and add in some code here. So in the apply changes IB action, 
the first line of code you're going to put is going to be slider display dot text equals ns string string with format at sign little quotes value is percent 1.2 f and this will make it a floating point number with trimmed digits and then comma and this is the variable you want to take it from and that is going to be slider display no, wait, not slider, just slider display. Set value, that's what I named it. Sorry, I forgot my variable name there for a moment. And end with a semicolon. And so now, we're actually going to test it because you think, oh, hey, you know, it's the value. Let's see if it works. And so I'm going to put it on the iPhone simulator and we'll see if it runs. All right, the app is up. So here's just label. And when I click it, it changes it to the string, but it doesn't update the value regardless of what I put it on. So you can play around with it, move it around, and it still just says value is 0.0. .0. Well, we know that's not true, so let's try making some changes here. All right, so in the same line where you have set value, we actually need to add a little bit extra. It needs to be set value dot value, and that actually takes the value out of the slider and applies it to the uh, whatever we need to use it for. So let's try it again. Here it is, label, and if you look here, it increments the data based on the slides of the <clears throat> slider. And so that's it. Uh, that is basically all there is to it, really. Um, if you have any questions, uh, issues getting it to work, you would like the source code, if enough people request the source code, I can include that. So basically, yeah, just let me know uh, what you guys want and if you have any ideas for the next tutorial. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.